Hello everyone, welcome back. In my previous video, I discussed about the installation and usage of AutoGPT. If you missed it, be sure to check it out after this video. You will find the link in the description and top corner. Today, I want to share some additional example with you and demonstrate the true power of AutoGPT. It can automatically read code from folder and generate test cases. So let's go ahead and run our program. So I'm running this python script slash main.py. So it will ask me about my previous configurations. I'll go ahead and say no and click enter. I'll go ahead and provide some details and then I'll come back. So I provided the name for uh, my AI is self improvement GPT. Then I have defined the role here. It will read, evaluate, improve the code and execute the code contained in demo.py and demo.py is available in auto GPT workspace. And these are the five goals. Uh, programming abilities, read code from demo, improve code. When there is error, shut down yourself and write the outputs in file. So let's go ahead and enter. So you'll see here, uh, self-improvement GPT thoughts. I will read the code in demo.py. Before we can improve the code, we need to understand what it is currently doing. There is a plan, criticism, and other thing. So let's go ahead and type Y and enter. So it is reading the content of this file. You can see here, command it file, import mat, def calculate area. So it is able to read the file from our uh, workspace and now it is going to improve this code. So let's see what it is going to do. So you can see here it has come back with I will create a new test file for the code. It is important to have test in place to ensure code changes don't break existing functionality plan used to write to file create a new test.py file. So let's go ahead and uh, give Y and enter. It is saying that uh, file written successfully. So let's see we have this test.py written here. So I'll go ahead and expand this one. So we can see here it has written a test file for us uh, based on this demo.py. This is really awesome, right? I mean, we can automate this kind of task. Uh, we don't even have to do anything. I'm using this uh, as a, you know, a self method, not continuous mode, else it would have written everything by himself. So now we can do is we can exit this code because our work is already done. So I'll go ahead and type N and enter. So let's have a look at the test case. Uh, which was given to us by GPT. So I'll go ahead and run the test case and see. So I can see here that the both the test case has passed uh, without any issue. The last thing I wanted to discuss about the usage. Uh, you would see that every time we make a call, uh, you have some usage consumed from your uh, credit. So just be careful with your usage. If you have any problem, you can always set the limit. But I'm on the free trial here, so I don't have any problem. So that's all for the day guys. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any doubt, uh, please ask the question in the comment section. See you in the next video.